judgment for taking that chip. That's why we told brothers, man, you know, don't take that chip. It's not because we're afraid of a little fucking microchip, man. It's because the Lord is going to destroy whoever takes that chip. Okay, that's 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 real talk. Okay, the most high going to destroy you, man. Okay. Right, next scripture. It's Matthew 19, verse 27. Yeah, it reads here, then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have there for? Okay, Peter gave up everything. Everything he ever had, man, Peter gave it up for the Lord. Okay, family, friends, you know, whatever, man. Whatever you have to give up, man, to follow the Lord, then you meant to give it up. Okay, if it has to be given up, give it. Okay. And how shall I say unto them? Verily I say unto you, that which ye have, that ye, that ye which ye, which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the twelve, in the twelve, like here, Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory. Ye also shall sit upon the twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Okay, because Peter, Peter is you know, going to be made a, a, a king, a judge over the twelve tribes, man. Okay. It's Peter spiritually David, okay, King David. So then everyone have forsaken houses, okay, you given up your house. Okay, brothers don't own their own houses now, man, but you know, <laughs> back in the ancient day, man would have had his house, okay, he would have left his house, okay, sold his house or whatever. Or brethren, giving up his friends, okay, who weren't in the truth, okay, because you know. You can't hang around with, with people who are not in the truth, man. Because you, you, at some point, man, you, you, you know, you're going to have beef, man. You know, simply put. Okay, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, okay, your family. Okay, your wife. You might have to, you know, put your wife away, man. You know, leave your wife. Okay, or your children, or lands for my name's sake. All for the Lord. All for your shite's sake. Okay, you have to be prepared to give up and lose everything you have, man. Okay, so it, you can't hold nothing dear, you know, nothing close to you in this life, man, because it could be taken away so easily, so quickly, man. It's best not be attached to anything, man. You no, know, be not attached to anything too much, man. Okay, because, you know, when you start losing things, man, it can bug a man out. You know, which it has done to other brothers out there, man. Or, or ex-brothers, whatever, man. You know, they've bugged out, man. So, you need to be mentally and spiritually ready or prepared to lose these things, man. Okay, the only thing we, we, you can have hold dear and you can really rely on and trust on, man, is the scriptures, man. And Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. That, that's it, man. That's all you can really deal with, man. Cause that's that's the only thing that's permanent, okay? Your your woman, she might die, okay, or or whatever. You want know, she might become a, a real demon, man. You might have to get the fuck out of there, man. You can't dwell with that woman no more, you know, or whatever, man. Or you know, if you're unlucky enough to have you know older children, man, your your child might become a faggot, man. You have to disown that, you know, disown that guy, man. You no. Know, the longer we stay in this world, man, the worse it is, man. That's why this world needs to be destroyed, man. Because I don't want to raise my children up in up in this society, man. I can't I can't bear the thought of it, man. This place needs to be destroyed, man. But you you know you you got to do what you got to do, man. Okay, if it comes down to it, man, be prepared to lose and, and to give up things, man. Okay. It says um, for my namesake shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. Okay, but giving up these things, man. You know, the Lord will bless you, man. Okay, the Lord will bless you a hundredfold. That's what he's saying here. Okay, because they've given up everything to follow the Lord. Okay, the Lord has to come first. Okay, I mean, that's why the story of Job is there for, you know, our understanding and learning, for edification. Because the Lord took everything from Job, man. Okay, but he remained, he, he kept his integrity, man. 
Okay, and the Lord blessed him with more than what he had at the, at the beginning. Okay, so you know you need to keep that faith, man. Okay, faith is, is you know the most important uh, thing that a man could have. Okay, faith in, in the Lord, in Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. All right, so this is First Corinthians chapter ten, verse eleven. Said, now all these things happened unto them for examples that they are written for our admonition upon whom the ends of the world are come wherefore let him think let him that think if he take he standeth take heed lest he fall they have no temptation taking you but such as is common to man but God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. Okay, so if you're, you know, that, that's why the the elect is sealed, man. Like, nothing can defeat the elect. Okay, you no know, temptation that's going to defeat the elect that they should fall, man. It, it can't happen. Okay, the Most High has got them. Okay, and what he's saying here, the, Lord, the Most High ain't going to send send them a temptation that they can't deal with. That the Most High ain't going to enable them to deal with, man. Okay, who give you? What, what you need to be tested with man but he's not going to give you something that's so bad that he, 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 it's going to break you okay because ultimately the elect the, the, what the, by his word the elect shall be saved man okay the elect ain't going to fall so you know the Lord's only going to give to them what what can be managed man he ain't going to you know he ain't going to set mad bars that you can't you can't reach you can't jump over man okay he's going to he's going to bring you to the brink or breaking, but he, but you 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 just about survive, man. You'll just about get through it, okay? That's what that's what it's gonna be like, man. You will you will be on the break brink of breaking, but you ain't gonna get broken, okay? Right, so Isaiah fifty nine and nineteen. And it reads here. <clears throat> it says, So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Okay, so, like, again, like I was saying again, you know, it, 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 we have to all rely on, on the Lord, man, to defend us in, in this day. That's why it's important to have that faith. Because you don't have that faith, man, the Lord ain't going to come and protect you. Okay, because really you ain't you don't believe that Lord can protect you, man. Okay, you want to you you know you you try to believe in your own self, or you know you just give up, or you just given up, man. Except that you, nothing nothing can be done. Okay, but you now the Lord is gonna do some some um, he's gonna perform miracles out here, man. Okay, and you know, however the Lord decides to um. Where the Lord decides to give us to aid us in 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 those days, okay, to to overcome the situation that 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 we're going to be in, you know, and we we will just have to wait and see, man, okay. But we, we know there's going to be powers distributed among brothers, you know, at some points, you know, to some degree, you know, but uh, like you know, like you. People, you know, Peter and that, they were busted out of, out of, out of prison and that by angels and that. Angels be sent down, you know, all kinds of stuff, man. And like, like I said, <laughs> in these last days, man, you know, it's going to get real hectic out here and, you know, some strange things are going to be happening. A lot of miracles are going to be happening, you know, you know, but that's all the work of the Lord, man. The Lord is going to raise our spirits to perform certain, perform, uh, perform certain things. Okay, to, to help us out. Okay, so yeah, like I say, who knows what the Lord is going to be doing in, in that day, man? But you know, this, the Lord also say, we'll work or work in your days, man. Okay, so we'll, we'll just have to wait and see what, what kind of wonderful things the Lord is going to produce, man. Okay, uh, this is Job <clears throat> chapter 5, verse 17. And it reads 
says here, Behold, happy is the man whom God corrected. Therefore despise not, not thou the chastening of the Almighty. Okay, for he maketh sore and bindeth up, he woundeth and his hands make make whole. Okay, so you know every, everything that we're gonna go through is, is for for our correction, okay? So like I said we're gonna go through all these things, okay? The the elect are gonna make it out of there, you know, but that's the last of their correction, man. Okay? Because they're gonna they're gonna demonstrate the elect are gonna demonstrate they they have in have the faith in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and you know that they fear the Most High, man. Okay, and that they love the Lord and they love the, the, the Most High. Okay, that's 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 the test. It's the demonstration of of your faith, man, to the Most High, and your love, man. Okay, it says uh, in verse nineteen, He shall deliver thee in six troubles; yea, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. Okay. Like in that last trump, man, you know, we'll, you know, the brothers, the elect, they, they're going to be changed, man. Um, you know, we're going to be in a, a, in a, a spiritual body, so, you know, per se, you know, with the, you know, the superhuman bodies and stuff, man. There ain't no one going to worry us in that time, man. Because then it's just going to be, you know, ass kicking time, man. You know? But like I said, we're going to be surrounded by troubles, man. But there's gonna come a time where that's gonna, you know, there ain't gonna be nothing that's gonna trouble us. Okay. okay. Verse twenty: In family he shall redeem thee from death, and in war, from, and in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh. Neither shall thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. Okay, so like I said, you know, Mosai is going to raise us up, man, into a formidable force, man, that no man is going to be able to um, do anything to, man. No, no, it goes up to, to that scripture, uh, scripture, man, oh, death, where is thy sting? You know, because after that point, man, there ain't no one that can, that's gonna be able to put us to death like that, man. Okay, we we're just gonna die of old age, man. Yeah, that's it. You ain't gonna be able to, you ain't gonna be able to cause us no harm. Okay, because the most high is gonna raise us up. Okay. This is Psalms 37 verse 32. We see the wicked worship the righteous and seek to slay him. Is that all it? Okay, I think I want to read the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. Alright, Psalms 37 verse 32, the wicked watcheth the righteous and seeketh to slay him. Okay. The Lord will not leave him in, in his hands, nor condemn him when he is judged. Wait on the Lord and keep his way. Okay, keep his laws, his statutes, and commandments, you know, to the best of your abilities. Okay, wait on the Lord, okay. You can't take your own vengeance. Okay, you have to wait for the Lord. Okay. And he shall exalt thee to inherit the land when the wicked are cut off. Thou shalt see it. I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a great green bay tree. Okay. So called white man. Okay. Yet he passed away, and lo, he was not. Yea, I sought him, I sought him, but he could not be found. Okay, because Esau is going to be destroyed. Okay, we all know this. Okay, but we're not there yet, man. Okay, he's, he's still in power, man, and there's still a, a great battle that every brother has to go through man before you know this this is to be man okay it says mark the perfect man and behold the upright for the end of that man is peace but the transgressors shall be destroyed together the end of the wicked shall be cut off but the salvation of the righteous is of the lord okay it's the lord's salvation okay he is their strength in the time of trouble Okay, like I said, we have to rely on the Lord. 
to deliver, to deliver us out of this